We're delighted to have Ashish Batia from Microsoft today. He's a product manager, and he's going to help us rate some of the news and also maybe correct a little of the past where he thinks we've gone awry. So lovely to have a new voice there. Ashish, welcome. Thank you, John. I'm delighted to be here. Yesterday, we talked about OpenAI's model spec, and I believe we called it optional. And Ashish, you, you took you took uh, issue with that and felt we should go essential. So we wanted to hear your your argument for essential. One of the things that we struggle with uh, when talking to LLMs or when making calls to LLMs is LLMs don't have uh, a distinction between instruction and data. So when that data and instruction goes part of the same package, uh, there is no information hierarchy uh, at the model level. And this is changing. They've introduced with the model spec five roles, platform, which is open AI, right? So they give certain guardrails to uh, the model. Then is developer, anybody who's developing on top of that API will have priority after the platform. And then is users. So you've created a chatbot, your users are asking for stuff, uh, they have the next priority. Then comes assistant uh, and tools. Tools have the last uh, kind of priority in this hierarchy. So if you have built, let's say, uh, a homework kind of an assistant and the student says, hey, just give me the answer, right? Whereas as a developer, you've said, hey, assist the user, but don't give them the answer, right? Make, have them do the exercise so the developer will take precedence. So that's why I feel uh, if you're a developer on top of LLMs, you should take note of this. All right, Ashish, you're kicking us off on this one. Thank you, David. And Paul, I'm going to mix it up. Uh, I've, I read this article last night. I feel it's a great initiative. I think one of the things I always say is, and, and this is true for government as well, that um, the best way of learning something, getting deep on something, is tr start experimenting with it. And I see California is getting in that direction where they are saying that they will leverage AI to do things like road safety, traffic jam, uh, provide uh, tax guidance. So super interesting initiative. I feel others should follow suit as well and take uh, note and lead from this. Uh, I'll still call this out as an optional. And Ashish, our guest is the first to go on this one. Yeah, I read this one, uh, David, to come on our Cohere is generally getting a lot of traction. It's the new kind of kid on the block, if you will, on the LLM kind of uh, arena. Um, so CIOs should take notice of this. There are going to be a ton of options uh, to build your own model or customize your own models. I know there's a lot of appetite to build, customize on your own models. So this is one more option. Um, it's a smaller model, do remember that. Um, but again, I, I would, uh, uh, tag this as an optional. The way I've seen perplexity is available as a SaaS service. Right? Um, I, I think of it as an answer engine, right? You have a question you ask, you just get the answer, no fluff around it. Uh, and it's very good at doing that. Um, but it has always been available as a SaaS service, right? And there's been rumors around perplexity going to an ad model, right? And perplexity is also called kind of the Google compete, the next Google compete. But this move from perplexity, which is maybe having the services also available as a platform for other uh, AI companies is, is a great move, right? That kind of broadens their uh, customer base, their audience. Uh, and SoundHound is all about uh, uh, voice assistance, voice AI, right? As Luda said, right? A lot of chatbots that we talk to, uh, there is like uh, some robotic voice talking, and will, which will which will improve uh, in future because of the tech that's coming along. That's a lot of that is sound, sound hound, right? So they're bringing perplexities, uh, answering engine is part of that. Uh, it's it's a great move. I don't know if it is important important, but definitely something to uh, look at, watch out because these kind of relationships we'll see uh, flourishing even more.